Yo YouTube, what's up guys? I am the Flamehead97 and here today I'm here with y'all for a video where I'm gonna be giving off my favorite songs of 2006. So I thought this would be an interesting list to come up with since 2006 is overall my favorite year in music. So I got a really good list here, pretty diverse with different music genres. So let's gonna get started here. So kicking off the list, first is going to be Glamorous featuring Ludacris by Fergie from Fergie's debut solo album called The Duchess. And I love Glamorous. It's one of my favorite pop slash R&B songs of all time. And I just love this song. You got great singing and rapping from Fergie on this song. You got a great feature from rapper Ludacris. Ludacris is just one of my all-time favorite rappers and it was great to see Fergie and Luda work on a song together because this song is timeless. This song never gets old. This is just one of those songs when you think of mid to late 2000s pop. This is definitely one of those songs that comes to mind and the song in general just brings back a lot of great memories to me in my childhood back then. So I definitely had to put this first up on the list. So, Glamorous featuring Ludacris by Fergie from the Dutch is definitely a song that will always resonate with me. Definitely many great childhood memories from back in the day. So next is going to be Make It Rain featuring Lil Wayne from rapper Fat Joe from Fat Joe's album Me, Myself, and I. Which was definitely an underrated album for Fat Joe in my opinion. But I'm going with the hit single Make It Rain because this song is one of Fat Joe's best songs in general. It's just a fun song to listen to Lil Wayne he doesn't really have a verse on this version of the song on the remix version of make it rain he does have a verse but in this original version he's only in the chorus of the song or the hook whatever you want to call it but either way make it rain definitely a dope song one of my all-time favorite Fat Joe songs so that's why I chose it from that album to be on the list just an awesome song overall so, next up in the list, this song may actually surprise you, but I'm going to go with Breathe Into Me by Christian Rock Band Red. This is off of their debut album, End of Silence, which, which was actually my favorite album from this band. I mean, they're a great band, don't get me wrong, but their debut album is my number one album from them. But I'm going with the song Breathe Into Me because this was the first song I got into from Red. I probably did remember the song in my earlier days of life, but... I didn't know who the band was or even the name of the song until later on in life. But definitely a great song. One of Red's most well-known songs. But definitely a great one. Definitely got a very inspiring and amazing message behind the song. So, yeah, Breathe Into Me. I love the song. One of my favorite Red songs in general. Great song from them. Next is going to be Promiscuous featuring Timbaland by... Nelly Furtado from her album Loose and just in the similar vein as Glamorous this song I pretty much grew up to just amazing great song great production here from Timbaland himself Timbaland doesn't really do much in the song but he is pretty much in the hook or the chorus but either way definitely a great collab here between Nelly Furtado and Timbaland and anytime these two worked together, whether it be on her albums or songs, it's just great. So, yeah, Promiscuous, definitely another smash hit and one of the best pop songs of that year. So next is going to be Get Up by Sierra featuring Chameleon Air. This is off of Sierra's second album called Sierra the Evolution or the Evolution, however you want to pronounce the album. As, but yeah, Get Up featuring Chameleon Air by Sierra. This song is awesome. It's one of my favorite R&B songs of 2006 and just just in general. Definitely an amazing song. One of Sierra's best songs in my opinion. So yeah, Get Up. I love this song a lot. It's definitely a great song. You want to get up and dance and just enjoy the moment every time you hear it. Just an amazing song. And then Chameleon Air comes in with his rap verse and it's just awesome. So yeah, definitely a great collab here between Sierra and rapper Chameleon Air. Yeah, Get Up, amazing song. 
Next is going to be Push It by Rick Ross from his album Port of Miami. This song is definitely awesome. This is actually my favorite Rick Ross song of all time. Just an amazing song. Rick Ross back then was just awesome. Many people may hate on Rick Ross, but his first album, Port of Miami, was actually a really good album. And you can actually tell Rick Ross put more effort into his music back then compared to now. But yeah, Push It from Port of Miami. This song is awesome. My favorite Rick Ross song of all time. I remember back in the day, in the later 2000s, I burned a mix with like 20 songs from different artists. And Push It was one of those songs I had on there. And I would just listen to that mix all of the time back then. Sadly, I don't have that mix anymore. But that mix definitely brought a lot of great memories to me, including Push It by Rick Ross. So, yeah. And I can't forget the Push It to the Limit sample that's in this Rick Ross song. Just an awesome song in general. One of Rick Ross's best songs. So, yeah. This song, I love it. It's an awesome song. Even if you're not a fan of Rick Ross... I think you at least will enjoy Port of Miami album and the song in general because it's just a really good album and song. So Push It by Rick Ross, they plan to be on here. Awesome song. Next is going to be I Love It by rapper Young Jeezy from his album Inspiration. Definitely a good song. One of my favorite rap songs of 2006 and just 2000 in general. Again, just another really, really good song. Got this really great production, great beat, just a really good song in general I remember first hearing this song way back in the day for like the very first time or first few times and I loved it then and I still love it now it's just a really awesome song and very catchy you got some great rapping here from Young Jeezy great lyrics great production from I think Toomp was a part of the production of this song I believe but either way definitely a great song and another one that brings back a lot of great memories to me so next it is to me, What Goes Around Comes Around by Justin Timberlake from his album Future Sex Love Sounds. And to be honest, I was kind of struggling for what song I wanted to go for for this list from that exact album because that's my favorite Justin Timberlake album. It had a lot of great smash hits and even more underrated songs. But I went with What Goes Around Comes Around from that album because it's my favorite Justin Timberlake song in general. And it's just a really great song. It has a very amazing message behind it. Like, I think Justin made the song about his breakup at Britney Spears or something. Kind of in a similar vein with Crime or River. But, yeah, what goes around comes around. It's definitely a great pop slash R&B song. It's got this great beat. And just amazing all the way around it. And then you got like this interlude that comes in near the end of the song for the album version. And it's just fucking awesome. So, yeah, the song in general is just amazing. It's my favorite Joseph Timberlake song of all time. So, that's why I chose it from that album for this list. Just a really good song. I love it. Next is me, Pac's Life, featuring T.I. and Ashanti by Tupac from his album Pac's Life. This album came out in 2006. Definitely an underrated song and album by Tupac. This is actually how I first remember discovering Tupac as a kid. I know he's had music since the 90s, of course, but I didn't really know Tupac's music back in that day because I wasn't born until 1997, but yeah, Pac's Life, definitely a very great song, very amazing, it's just a sad song when you think of it because of everything Tupac went through from being arrested to being murdered in 1996, so yeah, this is definitely an amazing song, definitely underrated. I think that album and song in particular just deserves way more attention and love because it's just a very inspiring song and definitely tells a great message about everything Tupac went through and stuff. And then you had a great rap verse here from rapper T.I. Then you had a great feature from R&B singer Shanti on the chorus of the song. So yeah, just an amazing song in general. I love this song. One of my all-time favorite Tupac songs. Just an amazing song. So next is me, Smack That, featuring Akon. I mean, Smack That by Akon, featuring Eminem from Akon's album, Convicted. Just a really good song in general. I was debating if I wanted to go with Smack That or I Wanna Fuck You, but I went with Smack That. I mean, I like both songs, but I kind of like Smack That more. But both songs are still good, but I went with Smack That, featuring Eminem 
because the song is just good. It's got a very awesome and catchy chorus. Of course, great production by Eminem. I think Eminem was behind the production of the song. And Eminem just killed the beat on this. And his feature on this song was really, really good as well. So, smack that. Definitely an awesome song. So, yeah, Convicted is my favorite Akon album, but I went with Smack That featuring Eminem because the song is timeless again. It's just very great. Got a great beat, great singing from Akon, great production from Eminem, and a great feature from Eminem. So, yeah, the song is just awesome. One of my favorite Akon songs ever. So, that's the reason why I chose it from that album for this list. So, next is going to be The Sweet Escape featuring Akon by Gwen Stefani. From her album The Sweet Escape. So this is the title track of that exact album. It's a good album. Don't get me wrong. But I went with the title track. Because it's my favorite song off of the album. I think it's one of the best songs off of the album. She has an underrated song on the album. Called Four in the Morning. But as much as I love that song. My favorite song still is the title track of the album. The Sweet Escape. So yeah. You got a great background vocals from Akon in the song. Akon doesn't really have a verse or anything in the song but he does do really really good in the chorus and the woos and the background that you get is pretty catchy as well so yeah just a really good song in general from Gwen Stefani and Akon. I love the song. It's another one of my favorite pop songs of 2006 so that's why to throw it in on here. Just a good song in general. So Next is going to be What You Know by rapper T.I. This is from his album King, which is a studio album slash soundtrack album from his movie ATL, which was also from 2006. This is my favorite T.I. song in general, or at least one of my favorite T.I. songs in general. Just a really, really good song. I remember jamming to this like in the later 2000s, between 2006 to like 2008. So... Yeah, just so many great memories with this song back in the day as a kid, preteen, somewhere around there. And the song still hits hard to this very day. It's just a really awesome song that never gets old. So, yeah, great song by T.I. Had to throw it on here. One of my favorite songs by T.I. in general. Just an awesome song. Next is me, Shoulder Lean, featuring T.I. by rapper Young Dro from Young Dro's album, Best Thing Smokin'. And yeah, this song is awesome. I love the beat. Just awesome beat. Honestly, T.I. doesn't have a rap verse in the song. He's only in the hook of it. But either way, it was an awesome song between Young Dro and T.I. from Dro's album, Best Thing Smoking. So, yeah. This song in general is just awesome. I know it's Young Dro's biggest hit to date. But either way, the song is awesome. And if you think of rap songs that blew up back in the day even if it was just one song from that artist this is just one of those songs so yeah shoulder lean definitely an awesome song wish it had a verse from rapper ti in it since he is in the song but however he does great in the hook still a good song though in general next is me money maker featuring fro williams by rapper ludicrous from ludicrous's album release therapy which is my favorite ludicrous album i just think it's a good album from ludicrous and pretty underrated as well but yeah the big hit of the album was money maker had other good songs like slap and grew up a screw up featuring young jeezy but i went with money maker because it's my favorite song off the album or at least one of my favorites either this song or slap is my favorite off the album but i went with money maker because it was a big hit and it was one of the more well-known songs of the album. Not that Slap is a bad song, of course, because that song is amazing with the great message. But I went with Moneymaker because it was the bigger song of the album compared to any other singles or songs off the album in general. But either way, that was a good album for Ludacris. But Moneymaker, definitely a good song. I know its lyrics are kind of sexual-wise, but it's definitely a good song. Very catchy. You got a great beat here by the Neptunes and... Just a really good and catchy song in general. Great rapping from Ludacris. Great chorus and hook by Pharrell. Just an awesome song in general. So yeah, Moneymaker, definitely had to be here. Awesome song. Next is me, It's Going Down by rapper Young Jock from his album New Jock City. This is like one of Jock's biggest songs ever. Right along with I Know You See It 
featuring Miss B, but I went with It's Going Down because I like that song better. Not that I know you see it was a bad song, because it's definitely not. It's another good song by Young Jock from that album, but I, will, I went with It's Going Down because this song is more nostalgic for me, if I'm being honest, compared to that song. Not that it's a bad song, but I think It's Going Down is the better song between the two, and the song is just more nostalgic for me and my childhood days. So, yeah, I'm in this style of trap music, if I'm being honest, because trap music these days just not very good for being real here but yeah back in the day it's going down was definitely one of those big hit songs and just made trap music in general really really good and awesome so yeah it's going down my young jock from the album new jock city definitely an awesome song so next is going to be over you by rock man daughtry this is from their self-titled debut album which is actually my favorite album from daughtry because daughtry's later stuff throughout their discography just sounds not very good in my opinion not that i think their other stuff is necessarily horrible or anything i just can't resonate with them because it doesn't even sound like rock music it just sounds like watered down radio rock music if i'm being honest but yeah over you though it's just one of daughtry's best songs in general so i went with that song for that reason it was a good self titled album but over you is just one of those songs that resonates with me a lot especially dating back to my childhood just another one of those songs that i grew up loving and that i still love until this very day so yeah over you by daughtry awesome song one of my favorites from them in general so next is me so sick by r&b singer neo this is from his debut album in my own words that was a good album by neo but i went with so sick because it was one of the most popular songs from that era especially in r&b definitely a really great song he had other good songs on that album like when you're mad and sexy love but i went to, i went with so sick because it was definitely a good song and it's just one of my favorite neo songs that he's ever done in general so yeah so sick is definitely a good song so yeah this song i'd pick it great song by neo here next is me redneck by lame of god from their album sacrament so yeah, Sacrament was actually a really good album from Lamb of God, but I'm going with the song Redneck from that exact album because it was like the biggest song from the album if we're talking about any of the singles off of it. But yeah, Redneck, it's just a song that makes you want to go in the mosh pit and just have a really good time headbanging and just having a good time in general. So yeah, Redneck is just one of those types of songs by Lamb of God that we just randomly play and just have an awesome time to and all that so yeah redneck definitely an awesome song by lamb of god one of my favorites from them in general next in the list is me irreplaceable by beyonce this is from her album b-day which may be my favorite beyonce album or at least one of my favorites would be in top three beyonce albums for me but yeah irreplaceable definitely an amazing song i love the acoustic guitars that you have throughout the song and then of course great production here I think Neo had part of the production here, or something like that, I don't remember, but yeah, the song overall is just great. It's one of Beyonce's most well-known songs of the 2000s decade, and just one of her best songs in general. It's one of my favorite Beyonce songs ever, so yeah, Irreplaceable, definitely a good song, and just tells a really good message about what a man did to her and she's basically trying to move on from a man so yeah definitely a really good song from beyonce just very very awesome and just a really catchy song and one of her best songs that she's ever made outside of destiny's child so yeah i love irreplaceable definitely awesome one of my favorites from her in general just a awesome song so the last song on the list is going to be sos rescue me by rihanna this is from her second album called A Girl Like Me. And while that was a good album by Rihanna, I went with the song SOS because it's like the biggest song from that exact album. And I love the sample from Tainted Love in this song. It's just a really good song in general. It's a song that defined Rihanna from back in the day. This was one of her biggest songs from back then. So, yeah. SOS, 
Rescue Me. Definitely an awesome song by Rihanna. And that sample, it just goes really, really great with the song. So, SOS, definitely had to make it here, guys. So, yeah, guys, this is my list for my favorite songs of 2006. If I left out anything, I'll put them in the description of this video once I go upload it. So, yeah, guys, let me know y'all's favorite songs of 2006. This is my list. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm the Flamehead97. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.